ഡിസംബർ തേർഡ് ട്യൂസ്ഡേ ലൂക്ക് ടെൻ വൺ ടു സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ വാട്ട് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് വുഡ് ദേർ ബി ഫോർ വൺ ടു ഗെയിൻ ദ ഹോൾ വേൾഡ് and to forfeit his life these words of jesus were repeated to a young teacher of philosophy who had a highly promising career in academics with the success and a life of prestige and honor before him when francis met Ignatius in Paris he was a proud autocratic ambitious man wanting to accomplish great deeds in the world for 3 years Ignatius patiently encouraged Francis to look at his life differently What profits a man Ignatius asked Francis if he gains the whole world and loses his soul Today the church celebrates the feast of Saint Francis Xavier one of the greatest missionaries of the Catholic Church Francis Xavier was ordained a priest in 1537 In 1541 King John of Portugal asked Ignatius for priests to send to the missions in India Despite knowing he would never see his beloved companion again Ignatius chose Francis Xavier for the mission Francis left for India arriving at the coast of Goa in 1542 for the next 10 years the missionary francis traveled from goa to cape comorin in south india then to the east indies malacca and the moluccas and onward to japan It was Francis great ambition to get permission to enter China as a missionary but he died in 1552 exhausted from his labors and fasts on a small island of the coast of China with a single companion at his side St. Francis Xavier's great ambition was to bring the world to Jesus Christ. Armed only with his breviary and a book of meditations, Francis preached the gospel to the poor and sick, spending most of his time ministering to their needs. His nights were taken up in prayer. As the missionary Francis Xavier moved on, He left behind flourishing churches that were the foundations for the Catholic faith in Asia. He and St. Therese of Lisieux were declared co-patrons of the missions in 1925. The Gospel reading today tells us about the sending of the 72 disciples to every town to proclaim the kingdom of God. Jesus is sending his disciples today, meaning you and me to do the same. The harvest is abundant then as it is now. More than ever, Jesus needs more laborers. The harvest is abundant. Millions of people in the world today still do not know God or deny his existence. Others know God and yet continue to live in darkness. 
Dear friends, it is the task of the believers to reach out to these people. Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Wishing you a happy feast, Father Paul CSSR from Kerala.